Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related. Machine learning is a huge field which has grown tremendously over the last two years and as have the opportunities within it. And that is exactly why a lot of people want to transition into machine learning, not just fresh graduates. And one of the best way to go about doing this is to get a master's in machine learning. And this is a really big decision. There are a lot of universities out there which are offering these type of masters and you might be confused on which one to actually pick. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about all the important things that you guys should be looking out for when you're actually deciding on which machine learning master's program is going to be the best for you. The first thing that you would probably be doing is looking at the program's website or the university's website in order to find out more information about this machine learning master's program. And when you're doing that, be sure to identify what type of courses are being offered within the program because a lot of times universities might have some sort of specialization. Of course, they are general machine learning master's degrees, but they would definitely tend to focus on specific things, whether it's NLP, computer vision, etc. So they might have more courses geared towards that and that's something that you guys should be looking out for to see if you're actually interested in taking courses related to those as well. The next thing which I actually think is one of the most important thing is to identify if your machine learning master's program or data science master's program actually offers a co-op. So what is that? A co-op is a four to eight month long industry placement, which your university will actually help you acquire. So this is extremely important, especially if you are someone who does not have any experience in the machine learning or data science field, and you're jumping right into getting a master's in machine learning. So what happens is even after you graduate with a master's in machine learning, if you don't have any industry work experience, you might still have a difficult time landing a full-time machine learning role because you don't have any credentials. So one of the best things is actually to go for a co-op program because while you're actually completing your master's program, you will definitely have secured some sort of co-op uh, experience. So having that co-op experience and having that industry experience is going to help you land that machine learning or data science role once you have graduated. The next thing that you guys should be doing is to look at graduates. So look at your alumni, look at their profiles on LinkedIn and see what they're doing professionally. Are they working in machine learning roles? Are they working in data science roles? Are they working in software development, different technical roles, or are they doing completely something else? So this is gonna give you a really good idea of what you can expect, what sort of opportunities you can expect while you're in the program and where you might be seeing yourself in the future as well. When you're looking at profiles of different alumni from your program, people who have graduated, you should also try to see their background. Are they people who already have work experience prior to the master's program or not? So that is an important deciding factor as well. The third thing that you guys should be doing is actually talking to alumni. So you could be reaching out to alumni on LinkedIn and asking them what their experience of the program was. Because obviously what you see on the program's website could be slightly different from how it is in real life. So it's really helpful to go and actually Ask someone who has done the program, has graduated, what their experience was like. So you guys can have a better understanding of what you can expect from the program as well. Another thing that you guys should be doing is to look at professors. Are there any notable professors? Are there any people who are really important within the industry? Are they working in your university? Because that is a tremendous thing to have. Of course, it's not necessary, but if you can find a university which has really key figures of the machine learning industry within your university, I think that's a really important thing to have as well. So by talking to alumni, looking at what alumni are actually doing, looking to see if there's any notable professors working in that university, what you're actually doing is trying to understand what sort of impression your university and that particular program has within the tech community and how it's actually being looked at by different hiring managers within tech companies. So obviously you would want a program which has a really good impression, which has made a really good impression on tech companies and on hiring managers because that's going to benefit you as well. And another important thing to look out for is scholarships. 
So these machine learning master's programs or data science master's program, they are definitely priced at a premium rate compared to just a master's in computer science. Because obviously universities know that these type of programs are highly in demand, so they are definitely priced much higher. So obviously uh, taking these type of master's program is not just an important professional decision, but it's also an important financial decision. So if you need it, it's really important that you also find programs which offer scholarships as well. So that's something to look out for. Another key point is location. So where exactly is this program being taught? Where exactly is the university located? Is it already located in an existing tech hub or is it located in a city where there's not a lot of tech companies and probably once you graduate, you would have to relocate anyway. So I would definitely suggest that you go for universities which are already located close to tech hubs or within tech hubs. They would already have links with industry partners and different tech companies, which is going to help, which is going to be extremely helpful for you guys compared to universities which are not located close to a lot of tech companies. And that's going to make things a lot more difficult when you are trying to find full time roles after you graduate. And last but not least, it's also important to look at how active the faculty is in putting out research or also in organizing different type of tech events like hackathons, etc. And are there a lot of networking events happening? Because that's also going to be extremely helpful for you guys. So these are also extremely important things which a lot of people overlook and might not actually consider. Let's take a look at how you guys can find master's programs in machine learning and also in data science. So there's a bunch of websites online and this is just one of them. So the cool thing with this website is that it has a bunch of different filters where you guys can pick specializations. In this case, I've picked artificial intelligence. You can also pick different levels like masters, bachelors, uh, PhD, and also you can choose which countries that you are trying to find these master programs in. I've set the country to United Kingdom. And let's take a look at some of the master programs in the UK. There's so many different options. It also gives you an indication of what the cost is, when does the program start, and also what type of ranking the university has compared to other universities around the world. Let's take a look at this Master of Science program in Artificial Intelligence at the University of Edinburgh. And as you guys can see, it has a pretty good ranking at rank 30. So let's take a look at that. So now we have a bit more information, like the duration of this program is about a year. The great thing with a lot of machine learning master programs is that they're usually typically about a year. And obviously there are two year programs, but most of them are about a year and or a year and a half. When you click on the how to apply section, you can also see what are the entry requirements for this particular course and also for the university as well. So as you guys can see for this particular course, you need to have programming skills and uh, you need to have some sort of skills in either C, Java, Python, R, MATLAB, etc. either one of those. And also it has stated that in order to apply for this program, you need to finish a bachelor's program. And in your bachelor's program, you should have finished, you should have uh, studied these type of topics, such as calculus, linear algebra, discrete mathematics and mathematical reasoning, and also probability. Now let's take a look at some other programs, but in the US instead. And for this, let's look at this. And for this one, let's go ahead and look at Rice University, which offers a master's, which offers a master program in robotics and artificial intelligence. So this is three semesters. So that's about one and a half years. Let's take a look at how you guys can apply and what are the entry requirements for this. So three letters of recommendations, official transcripts, and GRE. The, so the GRE exam is often required when you're applying for master's programs in either the UK or the US, but uh, mostly, especially for the US master's programs, you definitely need to complete the GRE. Although you don't need to necessarily have taken a bachelor's in computer science to apply for these master's programs, but it's highly recommended that you do because some of the requirements for a lot of the courses that you're about to take in your master's program, they require things like statistics, uh, probability and calculus, which is oftentimes uh, covered in computer science programs. So that's why they often recommend that you do have a bachelor's in computer science or 
Uh, it's also possible if you have a bachelor's in statistics or math, that works fine as well because you would have taken all of those courses and prerequisites as well. So guys, I hope this short video was really helpful and I mentioned some really helpful points which is going to help you guys decide on which type of machine learning master's program is the best for you. A lot of universities are coming out with these type of programs for a variety of different reasons. So it's extremely important that you guys do your own background research to decide which is going to be the best program for you guys. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, comment below and definitely subscribe because I'll be making a lot more content like this. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Thank you.